In this video, we're going to explore the math.sign JavaScript. And the math.sign function in JavaScript basically helps you to identify if something is positive, negative, or zero. And it does not look on what the value is. It will only analyze is this value positive, negative, or it is zero. So if it is negative, it becomes minus one. If it is positive, it becomes 1, and if it is 0, it becomes 0. And 0 is basically an all, a binary type of coding, except it's not binary it's, there's, because there's, two, uh, there's three digits being used. Negative, 0, and positive. And it even does not matter. For example, if you have a number that is 5, and you will check if math.sign, it will show number 1 for meaning that this number is a positive number or this variable or this constant is a positive constant. Remember that this is a math function in JavaScript, meaning that this is always related to numbers. So let's start and explore here. Let's make something nice here. So you have a quick understanding how to use it. So let's say we have a constant and our constant milk, um, milk in stock, yeah, in stock. And in here, we're going to put in our stock. So what do we have in stock here? Let's say we have right now zero in stock. And if we say your console.log, you will see now this milk in stock. Save this and refresh. We refresh here and open up our developer tab. You can see here it shows zero. And that's correct because our value is zero. So if we now say we have console.log and then we say here math is capital letter M. Remember this is a pre-built in function in JavaScript with an extension of sign, which is a quite new function in JavaScript because it's it being introduced in with ES6 in 2015. And in here we put in our variable or constant. So if we save this now, let's see what happens now. Now we get zero. As you can see, there's nothing happening here. If we do the same here, but then, oh sorry, what we can do here is let's say we do minus 10. If we would do this, what would be the number being shown here? Would it be minus 10? And the answer is no. Let's refresh. You'll see now minus 10 will be considered minus 1. Why is this the case? Well, math.sign only checks basically if it is a negative value as i said negative value is yeah if yes then show this basically if yes show minus one uh, no or zero if yes show zero and finally, we have here positive value if yes, show one. So let's do this now. Let's say here this will be 999. Refresh here, and you can see your 999 equals number one with math.sign. So this is really used for checking numbers. This is most of the time you want to check something to see if it's positive, negative, or zero. Uh, how many applications with this will be used? Very, very few, most likely. However, there might some, there might be some practical applications. Do I use this much? To be honest, not really. All right. So I hope this will enlighten a little bit what this does and helps you as well to understand this more. So if you have any questions regarding this, post them in the comment section below. And if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn about Chart.js, check out my Udemy course in the description box. In there we have a link going directly to Chart.js course in Udemy. And basically what I'm covering here about JavaScript is also useful for knowing how to create a chart in Chart.js.